Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Mason African Motives are still working on the question paper of August 2021 that we had, uh, the one that we are working on are still uh, on that same question paper now on heat. So we shall see how we are supposed to answer this question on heat. Uh, so if you are new guys, you can consider being part of the family by subscribing and also to watch some of the videos that we had worked on previously so that you can understand how we're working with uh, these uh, certain topics and also don't forget to share our videos guys to your friends and uh, colleagues so that they also can benefit from this information so please make sure that you do us a favor share our classes to your friends and also they can benefit from this information okay so we shall quickly rush through the question paper that we are talking about which is on uh, it on question number seven also this question had 10 marks uh, just like the one that we worked on on friction which had 10 marks also this one had 10 marks so okay but this one we had uh, a little thing uh, to work on because they were just given on 7.1 to give one example where linear expansion of met of metals is useful in practice one example where linear expansion is useful okay so that's uh 7.1 we've got applications here we've got uh the bimetal strips used to operate thermostats so that's uh that can be an application uh you can just use them uh, because we're just given one example okay so on 7.2 that's where i want us to focus much on there because we have something that is important there the length of a metal bar at 26 degrees Celsius was found to be 5 meters. After being heated to 89 degrees Celsius, that is uh, the temperature supposed to be degrees Celsius there, okay, it expanded by 7,245 millimeters. Identify the metal of the bar. Answer without calculation may not be accepted. Take note, we will not actually, we will not be accepted. Any calculation, any answer that you're going to give without a calculation. Okay, how can you identify the metal? How is it possible? Okay, there is this information that you are given here, which actually can use, can be used to identify metals. The linear coefficient of expansion is different for any for every type the linear coefficient of expansion of this is different uh, from another one which is the same thing that we could have even on the resistivities if we're working on the resistivity but here we can take advantage of the linear coefficient of expansion why because we are given something that has to do with a change in length because we are given here the change in length after being heated it expanded by so that's the change in length so from the formula of change in length or let's just list down the information maybe it can help us t1 it was 26 degrees Celsius, guys our final temperature remember our final temperature was 89 degrees Celsius. so this is 89 degrees Celsius like that uh, expanded Okay, the length was 5 meters forward, so the original length is 5 meters. Then an expansion, which is of um, the change in length, which can be written as X or change in length like that. So, if you divide by 1000, guys, you are going to obtain 7,245 times 10 to the power minus 3. This is what your calculator is going to give you as a decimal like this. All right. Now we know that the change in length is equivalent to the original length, which I'm going to write as LO times times the change in T, which is this part that I'm talking about, which is representing the linear coefficient of expansion, which is different for any metal. So it's the one that we are going to take advantage of this one. So which means we can find the linear coefficient of expansion by dividing the change in length you divide by these two which are multiplying which is the original length times the change in temperature 
mask so that means it can be a substitution that you can do the change in length we have got the change in length this one the change in length here which is 7 comma 2 4 5 times 10 to the power minus 3 as you change in length or everything over the original length the original length which was 5 multiply by the change in temperature take note whenever you are working with the change in temperature working with the difference in temperatures t2 minus t1 so this is your t2 which is 89 minus t1 which is 26 like this all right so by doing this guys you are going to obtain uh, something like 2 comma 3 times 10 to the power minus 5 so this is what you're going to obtain so now this is a uh, like I, I said uh, from the receipt it's going to be measured per degree Celsius but which which one now which one are we talking about from this linear coefficient of expansion which one if we are to cross check this is what you're obtaining from your calculator 2 comma 3 times 10 to the power minus 5 which one has got something like that from this linear coefficient of expansion we've got this one of copper we've got this one of aluminium and we've got this one of steel which one is going to give us 2 comma 3 times 10 to the power minus 5 if you had to cross check it is this one for aluminium this one for aluminium straight is 0 comma 0 0 0 take note these are five if you are to count off those ones they are five so it's, this is the one with two three that one is the same thing as writing it like this so which means the type there of the metal bar is an aluminium that's an aluminium so are you seeing how tricky was the question the question didn't want you to just give to say ah, it's a copper it's an no you are supposed to calculate the linear coefficient of expansion which can tell which type of material or the type of metal you are working with so that's how they can ask this question and you, you must be very very careful with this type of equation all right so another part now uh, these ones we just explain what is meant by each of the following uh, terms with regards to heat content of water okay this the first one is the specific heat capacity okay so as i always do guys i always come with a definition for you so the specific heat capacity it is the amount of heat energy required to change or to raise temperature of a one kg substance by one degree Celsius. so this is the temperature of air that's a one kg of substance because it's like this is now to you know this is the temperature but the temperature change is of one degree Celsius but of a certain you are changing from the amount of heat energy required to change or to raise temperature of one kg of substance so the one kg is not but it is for the substance okay then the temperature change of one degree something like that you can give a definition in that manner okay then uh, seven point one three seven point three two which is the latent heat of evaporation all right so the latent heat of evaporation it is the heat which causes no change in temperature or heat during change of phase between water and steam so when water is changing to steam there that latent heat of evaporation is the one which causes or which does not affect anything in terms of temperature or in terms of heat okay so that is our latent heat of evaporation then the last one which is the sensible heat what are we going to have for this one to make six marks for that so the sensible heat let me just try and adjust this side sensible heat that is the heat causing rise in temperature applicable to a single phase which may be ice water and dry steam so you can choose um, the proper definitions uh, from these ones then uh, work on them so that uh, you can create a better definition for you because it's a matter of working with the definition so that you create a better definition from that okay anyways that's it guys uh, that's what we are having from this question paper August 2021 working 
on heat so we shall meet again in another episode uh working on past papers and so on so not to miss these classes guys make sure that you become part of the family Amazon african motives and don't forget guys to share these classes to your friends at school and your colleagues there let them have a benefit somewhere there so till we meet again